you know, I've been doing this for 17 years here at Hannibal now, and, and I really think that he is, if not the best, one of the best captains that I've ever had. Just the way that um, he led by example. He was always positive with the younger guys. Um, never got too hard on anybody, but also tried to push it, push the other guys to do the best they could. I remember coming in um, as a young guy, and we had we had a lot of good players and a lot of good leaders, and I, you know, I looked up to them a lot. And so then after you know they all left, and uh, coming in my senior year, I um. I wanted to be that guy that you know people look up to, and uh, I hope I uh, impacted him in that way. You know, he wanted kids to look up to him and, and think of him as a leader, and I think there's there's not a doubt that anybody on that team felt that way about Nate this year. Those intangible qualities Nate to Stephanie brought to Hannibal Soccer were only amplified by his play. The Pirate senior is a two-time All-Conference selectee who led his team in his senior year with 16 assists and 26 goals, 10 of which were of the game-winning variety. You know, I just I just want to win. I'm competitive, and uh, I do whatever it takes. At the if it's at the end of the game, you know, we we work hard all season to, uh, you know, have energy to you know to finish games off at the end like that. So, it's it's uh, nice when it happens. Well, I think his work ethic. Um, I mean, he goes out there and, and works hard uh, every practice, every game, uh, puts in the time um, outside of, of practice in the season uh, to get better. Um, you know, I think one thing that really stood out with Nate this year, and a lot of coaches mentioned it, is. I don't know, there were too many games that there was a, a better athlete out on the field um, than what he had. Um, just his size, his speed, um, and strength that I think he really developed over this past year um, made, him, made him really tough up top for us. That same athleticism translated well for Nate to the tennis courts. All sports that I've done here have kind of just kind of evolved me into who I have uh, become today. And uh, I mean, yeah, tennis is more diverse, more diverse than uh, other, uh, other sports and um, you know, we, they've had great coaches like Catalpa and Hill um, make me the person I am today. Aside from his participation in two sports, Nate also took part in the River City Review and still managed to maintain a 3.95 GPA in spite of it all. From a young age, my parents kind of instilled in me that um, academics are uh, very important. So as I got older, I kind of made that kind of came natural to make that a priority. It's great to have somebody that, you know, is going to be one of your top players also going to be doing what they're supposed to do in the classroom. And I think that when you have that um, out of a guy like him, um, the younger guys, especially the younger guys, are going to see um, that they need to take care of stuff in the classroom as well. And for his next act, Nate DeStefani will follow a familiar family path, albeit starting his college journey in much warmer climes. You know, I've um, I've always just kind of wanted to go into business. It's always been something that I've just wanted to do. And uh, so I'll, I'll go, uh, I think I'm going to go to the University of Arizona uh, next fall. And uh, I got accepted into the Eller College of Management. And so I'll attend that. And, um, you know, my dad was in the business field, so I'll probably pick his brain a little bit, try to learn from him, and then, you know, go from there.